like to go for a ride? Then you'd better put on your rubbers, or better yet, a bathing suit. For this is the wettest ride you've ever had on anything short of a surfboard. Now we're in Higgins Lake, Michigan, and this water-loving truck is the Eager Beaver, built by Rio for the Army. Washington called for a truck that couldn't be stopped by water. And brother, this is it. At the Rio plant in Lansing, the men who built the amphibian Eager Beaver had to start right at the beginning, redesigning parts from the core of the engine out. Rio's experience at producing for the armed forces in two world wars permitted them to start turning out the Eager Beaver without halting vital civilian production. As far as possible, the powerful engine that goes into regular Rio trucks was adapted, made waterproof at every seam. All the parts ordinarily exposed are, in this engine, completely covered, with the only openings being the air intake and exhaust. Generators, spark plugs, carburetor, distributor, all enclosed. On the assembly line, the engine is lowered into position in a truck that within a matter of weeks will be rolling along over rugged terrain in who knows what part of the world. Heavy tread tires give the eager beaver traction on the muddy bottom of a river or beach. Next part to be added is the cab. They haven't made that watertight, so the driver must still be sure to keep his head above water. There are several types of truck body that can be used, but most common is the one so familiar to the GIs of World War II. Following right behind on the assembly line comes a truck that will also shortly be performing yeoman duty, carrying in this country the goods the eager beaver later will be transporting overseas. Out they roll in a steady stream, symbolizing industry's determination to maintain full civilian production as long as possible, while at the same time fulfilling all demands made by the military. Now we're in the cab of an eager beaver to watch some of its other exploits. In addition to its ability to operate underwater, this truck can also take grueling punishment on dry land, or land that's almost dry. It'll go places and do things you'd expect of a Sherman tank, but not of a truck. They named it right when they labeled this baby the eager beaver, 